Hello everyone! In this tutorial we're going to see how to choose and prepare a joinery component to insert it in our floor plan of the bag. But just as a quick reminder, it's important to remark that a joinery is any component of a SketchUp which will be inserted into the wall, and the bag will make the trim automatically. This can be done with any downloaded or self-created joinery in our library after changing its axis. I'm going to use this window as an example for this tutorial. I select the whole geometry and make a component. I'm going to name it Window and now I have to check the position of its axis. This is a very important step because the axis of the component will set the position of the attachment and the direction of the trim. In the back, we have to set the axis origin in the bottom right corner of the interior of the joinery. The red axis will go along the joinery length and the green axis will point towards the interior of the wall or room. This is the correct position of the axis to make sure the trim of our joinery is done properly. Now I can right click and save the component in my library. Perfect. So now I can open the floor plan that I have been drawing with the back. After clicking on the Choose Joinery tool and selected the joinery of the window, I have to make sure that it has the correct elevation from the floor. For this, I just have to type the desired value just before inserting the window into the drawing. After doing this, you can freely insert this window joinery anywhere in the floor plan. Once the joinery has been inserted, you can select the whole floor plan and click on the Convert to 3D icon of the back. You can now see that the windows are placed in the established elevation and the wall trim is done correctly. Also remember that if you move any of the existing joinery in the 3D view, the 2D view will be updated with the position of the joinery and after converting again to 3D, the trim is also fixed. Okay, thanks for watching, I will see you in our next tutorial. See ya!